Hello, I'm Executive Chef Joseph Schutze. Welcome to our kitchen. Today I'd like to share with you my procedure and recipe for a Bloody Mary mix. So join me now as I show you how I prepare this lovely drink. When making a Bloody Mary, you want to start with your tomato product. Whether it's a tomato juice, a vegetable juice like V8, or even Clamato. Clamato has some great flavor. And the first time I ever tried it was a few weeks ago. And I thought to myself, why on earth is this so good? What is in it? When I read the label, the third ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. And the sixth ingredient is everyone's favorite, MSG. So I will not be using that. I like to use uh, De Fratelli 100% uh, vegetable juice. It is not from concentrate, and all they have is the vegetables and a little sea salt. So feel free to use whatever product you like. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you will find this to be really well balanced, very flavorful, and I have some ingredients in here that will really turn it, turn it up a notch. Let us begin with preheating the round dough over medium heat. I then like to add the bacon and start rendering the fat. Well, now that we've rendered the fat, let's go ahead and add our onions and a couple serrano peppers. We'll go ahead and sweat this until it becomes translucent and aromatic. Let's go ahead and add carrots. We will saute these for three to four minutes just until they start to cook. Next, I like to add some garlic puree. We'll go ahead and saute that for a minute or so. Next, I like to add my vegetable juice. Now I'd like to add the lemon juice. Worcestershire. Chipotles and adobo sauce. I will add celery seed and celery juice powder. Ground black pepper. Horseradish. And salt. We'll stir this, bring it to a simmer for all the flavors to develop. Well, here we go. It's been cooking for about 30 to 40 minutes. The vegetables are cooked all the way through and soft. Now, all we need to do is blend it. I strongly recommend using a variable speed blender for this rather than immersion blender. The immersion blender will do a good job, but it won't get it quite as smooth as the variable speed. Well, we now have it all blended. We will mix it all together back into the pot, make certain that the flavors are where we want, adjust accordingly if you wanted some more salt or any black pepper, or, or even if you want it spicier, you can even add cayenne or something or Tabasco, hot sauce, whatever. And then we put them into the sanitized jars and begin processing them. We will process under pressure, 11 pounds PSI for one hour and 10 minutes. Well, there you have my Bloody Mary mix. There is a little bit of a process in it. Um, I, I don't mind that simply because the end result is really good, the flavor is nice, and I can change it to make it spicier at any point. So, you know, I, I tend to make it a little spicy, but not super spicy. That way anybody can drink it. And if somebody wants it hotter, then naturally I could always add it later on in the drink or, you know, um, infuse it into the vodka, like a cayenne pepper or a habanero into the vodka and spice it that way. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try it. Let me know what you think.
If you're liking what we're doing, the content and then the demonstrations, please subscribe and uh, hit that thumbs up button. Below will be the recipes. I will also include a recipe for clamato. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Yo, bye.